Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Battle Bay. Today we are looking at actually buying an epic container. I really enjoy this game. I think it's really good and I think it's got good longevity to it. So I'm investing in it. I have bought the giant chest of pearls. Crazy. 99.99. But hopefully it'll be worth it. Um, basically, if you're not familiar with the way the weapons work and the way the pearls work, pearls are the main currency of Battle Bay and they can be used to purchase pretty much everything. If you want to buy the gold, if you want to buy the sugar cubes, if you want to uh, purchase certain weapons, the, the epic weapons cost pearls in the market, you can refresh your shop. Ooh, free package. Um, and but the main, oh, oh, finally you can look at chests. So there's a premium chest which is guaranteed to get a rare item and an epic container guaranteed an epic item. So, items, what's available? There are five types of weapons. The, the more stars they have, the stronger they are. White type, common. Green type, uncommon. Rare blue, epic purple, and legendary five. Now everything you can get up to, uh, up to epic you can buy, uh, but legendary are going to have to be pulled. But one thing you've got to think about is if you do get a legendary item, you're going to have to upgrade it. And the higher it is, the harder it is to upgrade. The more materials you need, the more money you need to spend, the rarer the materials. So for example, if we look at the market now, if I'm upgrading a common, um, a common weapon, I can buy 100 material parts to upgrade it, to give it like 3 plus damage. And that's not going to cost me a lot of gold to get there, but we've only got two uh, 84,500 uh, gold to spend on just five purple parts. That's the epic weapons. So that's how I'm going to put it. I don't know what it is. It's going to cost a lot more. So you, you, it may be that with a rare item, if you're starting, you may want to use that anyway because you'll be able to get it up to a max damage higher than the epic uh, starting damage. But I'm going to be going for a legendary, uh, hopefully getting 10 parts, and an epic item. So I'd have to pay 3,000. So why pay 3,000 when you can buy a chest of 3,900, right? And get a hell of a lot more. So let's do this. 3,000. I'm going to get 10 of them with a guaranteed legendary. First one, we've got a blue, uh, that looks like the flare, is it? I think that burns people. Uh, we have a rare and a part, that's good, we want legendary parts. We have another legendary part and a grenade launcher. I'm, I'm personally a fan of the grenade launcher. We have bandage and another part, but that's a part for a blue. So obviously there are the weapons, there's things that you use to slow people down. And there are things that you can use to heal your, your teammates, mines. Um, so another part for blue, seventh one we've got, so we still haven't had our guaranteed legendary, I don't think, have we? Or maybe we have, Tesla, yeah I think the flare one was my guaranteed, right? Oh, here we go, boom, here we go, standard mortar, I haven't used the standard mortars yet, but this has with great range and a large blast radius. Cooldown is only 10 seconds, 22 damage per second. And the higher the weapons, the more slots you get to add perks. So some of them might be add 25 HP to your, your ship. Uh, I've got one that's add plus three damage. Uh, hoping, I don't know if there are ones, but ones that cool, decrease your cooldown, because the faster you cooldown, the more you can get those hits in. So that's our epic item we have. And if we now go to, I'm gonna need some parts. Let's go check this item out. I might not even be able to put it into my ship because you need to have the right amount of slots. So let's see how many slots this actually needs. It only takes one slot point, brilliant. So that can go in there straight away and I can use my epic, um, oh, I could, I've had the choice of using my epic blast cannon. 193 or I could lay down some mines. I've got a rare mine that I pulled from that. Also a rare grenade launcher. As I said, grenade launchers I really like. They're really tactical if you've got to you've got to aim where people are going to get it land on them. So I'm gonna pull back in my grenade launcher because I was missing him. And 193 damage versus starting off at 102 damage. That's already level seven. And do I have any perks on this? So the grenade launcher has a perk already. I've only got one perk actually to use. Um, and it goes into those two again. 
It's giving me more health. So as we can see, here we go. For an epic to, to upgrade it, it costs 33,000 sugar cubes. So that's the first level. For an epic, it only costs half that. And I need, what, 15 material, the, the, the standard 24 of that, and 10, uh, 10 epic materials for that first upgrade. So I've got what I need, uh, but as soon as that first upgrade comes in, I'm gonna have to wait till my next one. So I'm probably better off initially using two um, epic items. I've already got an epic shield. What's this? We have gear lube, speeds up turret tracking. I don't really need that. So I'll get it up for the railgun can be quite a powerful gun once it's maxed out. 984, huge projectile speed as well. Uh, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use it and then I'm gonna focus on buying the materials in the market when they come out. Um, and that's that's it, it's in play. So let's check it out. Let's let's put it put it into battle. Remember obviously it's not graded, so at 220 compared to my glass cannon. It's not too much better, but we'll see how it gets, how we get on with it. So I've got a ton more. I could actually buy three more of those if I really wanted to charge room. I could buy three more of those if I wanted. I could buy a certain item that I want. I'm really happy I've got a mortar though, because I wanted it to be a weapon. So mortar is gonna have huge range. So I, from the start of a match, I've got a really good weapon to, to use. And grenade launcher is just short of that. Go with Verizos. Right, so now already I can shoot one down. The problem is obviously the mortar takes ages to, to get into position. Well, look at that, it's actually got a pretty good heal, uh, cooldown. And I can hit people with that mortar without seeing them, really. Right, so we've got nowhere this cherry horse is going. Oh, I'm going away. Ah, ah. This guy's going away. Boom. Oh, I'm getting murdered. Die! Uh. I'm out on my own. I was out alone. I got destroyed. So even people buying those big weapons and, and not like from the start, you're not going to have a huge advantage. But it's just in the long game, I'm going to be purchasing. I, mean, I, know, I know I'm going to be playing this game a fair bit. And I don't want to be buying, putting materials into weapons that I'm not going to use when I know I'm going to have, uh, end up hopefully with a legendary weapon or even, sorry, an epic weapon or eventually. A legendary weapon. Uh, so I do need to get a few upgrades on that, and I can just put my coins into that now. And I've I've set up so I uh, I've subscribed to the VIP service, which is nine pound ninety nine a month. And that just means you don't have to watch videos after. You also get twenty percent quicker training. Um, get access to VIP chat as well. Which that doesn't really bother me. Um, Something else, I think. VIP chat. Do whoop. Don't remember what else you get. But, yeah, so I'm going to be. Got an achievement, what's that? Find rare items. Find five epic items. What have we got? So we've got 10,000 now. So, how far am I constructing a legendary item? I've got one part for that. So you only get one part, you need 10 to combine that. So it's crazy, it's gonna be really, really difficult. I've actually got five parts for that. Should we go for another one? Why not? Let's open two, we might get enough. So first off, we have a rocket launcher, looks like. We've got a piece for an attack, brilliant. That's what we needed, that's what we're after. We've got a green piece this time, green epic. We have, nice, another attack, epic. We have another attack, epic. This is perfect. Two, oh, all oh right, we've got a weapon here. We've got another mortar, uh, and we have another attack, which actually we could construct one. Another attack, frost launcher for rare. We've got 
a oh a health crate, cool, a rare health crate there. These are going to be good for strategies if you're go if you're going in with a team fleet that you know. And shout out to anybody who's playing this and watching this. Um, add me, feel free to add me on the message board if you want to form a fleet. You can form a fleet with friends, and you go with people you know, and we can build strategies. Like, so maybe I'd run health drop, somebody else would be a tank and go up front, somebody else would plug mortars from behind, somebody go for speedboat to distract them. You know, if you want to join my fleet, just uh, look, search for Go Shiny Hunter. Uh, hopefully, you'll be able to find me that, through that way. Um, we've got a, a blue one, we didn't really want that. Another rare item. Come on, give us that attack. So that's shining. We've got another green epic piece. And there's our legendary piece. It's a green. So we're gonna <laughs> that's gonna be hard to get. We are Yes, we've got it. Right, so this is what happened. Once you have all those items, you can combine them to get one of these weapons. I'm guessing it comes at random. I don't really want to use 90,000, but just for shit to show you. We see what I get. What's with all these mortars? <laughs> so I now have like 3,000 mortars. So I need to buy some inventory slots. Uh, yeah, so basically, the game has given me all mortars. I have the standard mortar, I have the Big Berta mortar, and I have the Ballpark mortar. <laughs> so I think that's every mortar there is. And. I'm not, not a huge fan of mortars. I like my grenades, because I like a close-up weapon that you can... I like the sniper cannon, and I like the railgun. I mean, I got, got what you guys are running if you're watching this and playing it. Uh, but that's all for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I'll be putting some more content out as well. And like I say, join me on the uh, friend chat. They haven't set up guilds yet, by the way. They're working on that. Once you have a guild, you can set up a... You know, we'll probably set up, set up a shiny guild. Set up, we can all have teams there. That'd be good fun. Uh, and then we can start competing as teams in the season and hopefully make our way up much like uh, Clash of the Clans you have uh, you have the leagues and the more infamy that you get through getting better and better you get higher and the better, then the better rewards you get and they end uh, I think every 10 days We've got a calendar and they end you know they'll tell you where it starts and then it tells you when it ends so yeah they actually no they ask the last two weeks um, to do the next one ends in nine days. That's all for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully see you soon. Take care.